I'm going to show you how to create a simple sign up form that automatically populates your information directly to an Excel spreadsheet. All this stuff will be stored in OneDrive and it'll be very easy for you to share it out with your colleagues that need to have access to it. In addition, we're then going to go and take a look at how to use a simple automation flow to send a confirmation message out to people as they uh, sign up for your workshop. So let's start off. I'm here in OneDrive and under the create new item here, one of the menu items we're looking at is forms for Excel. This is only available in OneDrive. It is not available in SharePoint. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to create this and I'll call it the Microsoft uh, Workshop. So the first thing that happens is Microsoft cr uh, creates a form. So let's go in and we'll quickly fill in all the different fields that we want. There's our information. Now, the spreadsheet is automatically created in my files. We can see that there. Forms are created in a different location. So it's actually under forms.office.com. So the, there are two separate uh, locations. So you will have to go and hunt and peck for some. I recommend bookmark them or create a document and make sure that you add the links to the information. I typically in the Excel spreadsheet would put links into all the files. So let's go ahead and just quickly fill this out. I'll go to here under share. I can grab a link here and I can send that off to other people or I just paste it into the, my browser. So where does this get entered? Well, let's go back to our form. And if I go to responses here, I can see there's one response and I get a little graph here that tells me uh, what's what. There is a link here that says open in Excel. Now, because we selected forms for Excel, it automatically creates an Excel spreadsheet within OneDrive and it links the two together. If you went and just created a form by itself and used the form, when you click on this, it's just going to download the information. It is not going to link to anything that you have stored in any online uh, services. So that's the one, one nice advantage is it's all set up for you. So I'm going to click on that. We'll open up that spreadsheet. Again, it's the same same file that we were looking at before under OneDrive. If I click on that, it's opening the same file. Go on to here, you'll see Forms 1, and there is all my data that gets entered. Bang, we've got all that information set up. Let's look at the next step. The next step is to send a confirmation message out to the user. Now, the Forms itself, as part of my uh, settings, will allow me to uh, send a receipt after after submission. So this basically sends a copy of what I've filled out uh, as a user. I filled out, I will get a copy of it. So it's the form with all the fields and stuff. There's no customization. We're going to do is what we're going to do is create that customization. And we're going to do that by starting off in Power Automate. I'm going to go create a new flow. It's a cloud based flow, obviously. So it's going to run in the background. Skip all this. And I'm going to go under here and I'm going to give this a name. Always make sure that you have that name to, uh, done first. We're working in forms. So I'm going to just type in forms, which filters down on all the different items. I'm going to select Microsoft forms and I'm going to say when a new response is submitted. Well, that's exactly what I want. I want this trigger to happen that when a new form or I, uh, item is submitted to the form, I get notified or I send an email out depending on what I want to set up. So we'll pick this here and I'm going to find, there it is, Microsoft Workshop. I'll grab that. The next step. Well, when that is submitted, what do I want to do? Well, I want you to collect that information from the submission. So again, we're going to go back to Forms. We'll see Microsoft Forms there. I'll grab that. We're going to get all that information. And we'll hit ID here. So anything that was submitted Microsoft now knows. Now I can go into and create an email. So we're using Outlook to do this. So we'll make sure we pull that up. You want to make sure you're always using Outlook, Office 365, not Outlook.com. What's the action we want? Well, we want to send an email. Here you can customize the email. So I'm going to hit the two people here. I could Now this is going to go to a uh, the person that filled it out so that's the response so i'm going to go into dynamic content this is the information that was collected in this second step get responses and i can see the responders email now what we've done is you notice in the form we didn't actually ask for anyone by default what's happened is that these forms 
recognize that you're a McEwen person, they recognize that you are logged in, and they grab that information automatically. So we're just gonna say, get the email. Put in whatever subject they want, you're in. And then I can just customize this piece here however I want. Now, one thing you can do is when you see where it says show advanced options, you can include a BCC here. So the blind carbon copy means that someone else gets a, to see the message, but the original people in the two field will not see what that it's been sent. So you might want to send that to yourself so you have a copy of whatever confirmation message was sent out to the original user. That information, I mean, it's just nice to have so that when they say I didn't get it, you can say, well, yes, you did because I got the same email at the same time. You can automatically have a filter in your Outlook that just takes it and puts it into a folder. You're never going to look at it. It's just covering your butt kind of thing. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to hit save. We'll quickly run the flow checker. It's pretty simple, but it, if it finds any errors, it's going to let you know. And then we're going to run a test. So when you hit a test, We'll hit this manually. I start the test. I now have to go in and submit something. And submit that. Now remember, we logged in, uh, we're actually logged in with this test account. So when, I, so when I filled it out, it's that test account information that's being grabbed. So if I go into here, there we can see there's the email of whoever is filling it out. Doesn't matter what the name is, but that's the actual email that's being used. When I go into the email, there is the response. You're in, and I used to see you with all the spelling mistakes. Mark your calendar. That's as simple as it gets. You could also, though, if you wanted, add another step. So let's say, for example, I would let, and my team who are working on this want to be notified every time a submission is made so we can go and review the information. Well, I'm going to go back to my my edit here and I'm going to my steps here and I'm going to add a new step in here and I want to be notified on teams so I'm just going to type in teams Microsoft teams and I'm going to where is it uh, well, I was type in post because I know it's post post a message in a chat or channel so I can post that in that's going to go this so this is coming from the robot which is fine i just select the channel that i want this the team that i want first so i'm going to go to a channel and then i can submit that information so every time that somebody submits something that team on that channel gets a notification to say hey this is someone has posted this you can include a link to the information so uh, you can put a link there to the excel document and then that way everyone gets notified that's it